All right, you guys, welcome to week seven of the metabolic conditioning class. Finishing up my cup of coffee. Before we get rolling, today's class, since we will only be having one metabolic conditioning class this week, um, there'll be a full body class today. So we'll do a little bit of pushing, a little bit of pulling, full body wise. Um, yeah, and then on Friday, well, the 5K for anyone that's part of the Exos Pillar Olympics. Um, you guys are already ready for the event on, fri uh, on Friday. And if you aren't and you want to join in, uh, feel free to hop on the call or send us an email. Okay. Perfect. So first things we're going to do, we're going to start with our pillar prep. We're going to get work on that downward dog. Start in that push-up position. Let the head fall between your shoulders. Come back to that plank position. Let's do eight of them. Getting those shoulders loose. Getting a little stretch in those hamstrings. Squeeze that core as you come down to that middle position. It's a fantastic day, Tuesday. Brad and I were just talking about the weather. It's awesome that summer. All right, when you guys are done with that, we're gonna lay on our backs. So we're gonna do those reverse scorpions. So my arms are gonna be laying on, out. I'm bringing my right foot up to my left hand, and then I'm gonna bring my left foot up to my right hand. Now I'm gonna do six each way. If you wanna hold it, do so. It feels really good in your low back, or just getting those kinks out of that lower back. So nice and easy, kind of getting that body waking it up. Rotating back and forth. If you want to hold it there and focus on your breathing, do so. My back always cracks 10 million times doing this, so it's a good way to readjust and get realigned before the workout starts. Finish up those repetitions. I kind of lost count. So you can sit on up, but we're going to stay in that position. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a glute bridge. So my feet are going to be shoulder width apart. Hips are going to be out. And I'm going to drive up and through, driving through those heels. Let's do eight of them here. Drive up and through and then squeeze at the top. We'll kind of add a little pause there. So your quads get engaged and your glutes squeeze. Eight repetitions here. Finish those up. After that, finish up our pillow prep with that three-way chest pull. Once again, arms are gonna be out. We're gonna pull to our face. Arms will go out, and then they'll go overhead. So we'll do four of those. So face pull, arms out, overhead. Three-way pull. We're gonna do four of them total. Get those shoulders loose. When you're done with that, ooh, I gotta grab my phone for the timer. Gonna move into our movement prep. We're gonna do 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, typical weeks. Uh, the four exercises we're gonna do with this, this we're gonna do a forward lunge. So big step forward, and then we're gonna twist towards that front leg. Notice how my back knee is not touching the ground, so don't bang on it. Just hovering above the ground, hop back up, big step, twisting. After that, we're gonna do bent over Y's and T's. So I'm gonna bend on over. I'm gonna go to that Y position, and then I'm gonna go to that T. Keep that chest big the entire time, so it keeps that back flat. When I'm done with that, we're going inchworms. So I'm just gonna go be, kind of reach my toes, walk on out, walk back up, and then we're gonna do what Caitlin's done in her previous classes, seal jacks, I like them quite a bit. So arms are gonna be forward in front of us here, and then, Going out with them, staying those legs out just like a lot of jumping jacks, but arms are horizontal. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, two rounds through. Get the timer going. Again, not going quick yet. We're kind of still waking up, getting our um, body temperature up. All right, here we go. Forward lunge with a twist. Let's hit it here in three, two, one. We're going nice and easy here. No rush yet. Focus on that balance and then driving up hard to that front foot. 
In previous weeks, we've been doing reverse lunges, so this, this might feel a little different for you when you're driving up. Two, one, relax. In a good position, we're going a little bent over Y's and T's. Big chest, push those hips back. Here we go, two, one, we're going. Go for the Y position and the T position. Keep that chest big, getting those small muscles in the shoulders working. So it's okay if you go a little bit slower here. It's not a race. Have those small muscles focus here. Two, one, relax. We're gonna go those inchworms next. If you want in between, reach up tall, pull the extent of the body. Two, one, we're going. Go on walking out to that push up position. You don't have to do a push up there. Just walking back up. Get a few repetitions in here. Getting those shoulders loose, kind of unlocking those hips at the bottom. Let's get one more. Nice. Finish up with those. Gonna go into those seal jacks. Here we go. Two, one, we're going. Same kind of getting that heart rate up. Moving a little bit quicker on this one. Short time here. Two, one, relax. Go one more time through. So forward lunge with a twist. All right, here we go. Two, one, we're working. Big set, twisting towards the front leg, alternating those legs. Nice job. Two, one, relax. Going a little bent over Y's and T's. Here we go. Two, one, we're going. Keeping that chest big. Take your time with the movement. Focus on those small muscles of the shoulders. Two, one, relax. One of those inchworms next. Here we go. Two, one, we're working. Walking it out. Then back up in that top position. Reaching tall if you want in between. Or just roll right into the next inchworm. Last one here, two, one, relax. And then we'll go into those seal jacks. Finish up our movement prep. Two, one, we're going. Quick up here now, get that heart rate up. Get a little rest after this. Get ready for our strength power rounds. We got some good ones today. Two, one, relax. Grab a sip of water. Hopefully you guys are warmed up feeling good. Today will be a little tougher than last week, so. And with that, doing Caitlin's classes, our class on Friday, we're mixing it up. A bunch of good exercises combined. As you guys are resting and recovering, today how it's gonna work, very similar to previous weeks. Um, we're gonna increase the duration a little bit though on the strength exercises. Uh, we're gonna do 35 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Again, those don't need to be super quick. Focus on your technique for that time. For that 35 seconds, doesn't need to be go, 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 go. If you feel good about the exercises, then you can ramp them up. But it doesn't need to be fast, fast, fast. After that, we're gonna kinda go into some metabolic stuff, which will be 15 seconds on, followed by it's gonna be three seconds off. So it's literally just gonna be the next transition. Like, I'm gonna say one thing, I'm a two, one, two, one, we go right back to the next one. So that's gonna be very quick, and that's gonna feel a little tougher today. So that's where we're gonna make our money in this workout, especially for our, heart, our, our metabolic lead. So first exercise we're gonna do, I'll show you guys the exercises in between 
for the, uh, the strength power round or the beginning since we got a little time in between. So the first exercise we're gonna do, if you have a dumbbells, um, you're gonna need two of them, or I guess you could use one if you want, or if you got a backpack, you can use it, that's fine too. We're gonna do a curl to press. So make sure before you go, your feet are shoulder width apart. So when you're pressing overhead, you don't want a small base. You want a big base. So feet shoulder width apart, I'm gonna curl, palms out, I'm gonna rotate those dumbbells, and I'm gonna press overhead. So bring it back down, rotate them in, curl down. Curl to that press. We'll do that for 35 seconds. Um, a little more emphasis is when you, at the very top, try to pause. That's gonna create that stability in that shoulder, a little extra bonus while doing this exercise. All right, I'll get the timer going. Here we go, let's hit it in three, two, one, we're working. Curling, rotate those dumbbells, pressing overhead. Get those elbows locked at your side on those curls. Make sure that bicep is doing the work. If you have a backpack, great. Use two hands on it and press overhead. If you just got one dumbbell, use that, and you're able to do the same thing. 10 more seconds here. Try to pause at the top if you're able. Squeeze that core. Two, one, relax. After that, we're gonna do alternating forward lunges. You guys haven't been using a weight before, I recommend you guys to add a weight today. Something light, something little, but saying you can just have one dumbbell right here and hold it at your chest level or your backpack, or you can hold the two dumbbells at your sides. But we're gonna do some alternating forward lunges. Here we go, two, one, we're going. Big step, driving up. Just like we did the lunge with the twist earlier, but no twist now. Now we're just driving through that front heel. When you drive up, step up with the purpose. I have a change of speed to pop up. Put a little more force to the ground. Get those muscles to engage. Nice job here, short time. Two. One, relax. After that, we're gonna do some yoga push-ups. <laughs> Put some yoga in with the push-ups. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna be in that push-up position. I'm gonna go into a downward dog position. I'm gonna come back down. If you wanna go to your knees, you can. If you wanna stay up, you can. And you're gonna do a push-up. So downward dog, go to my knees, push-up. It's going back and forth between the two. 35 seconds here. Here we go. Two, one, we're going. Downward dog, head through your shoulders. Drive through those elbows. Gotta get that shoulder mobility in. In between, you gotta transition to your knees. Perfect. Just keep that body in line. Drive hard through those elbows. 10 more seconds here. Two, one. Relax. All right. And the metabolic work. Now we're really gonna pick up the pace. The three exercises we have. We're gonna start off with burpees. We'll start it off right with those. After that, we're gonna do lateral split feet pops. So I'm gonna find an imaginary line. I'm gonna hop back and forth. My feet are going forward and back. And then after that, we're gonna do plank jacks. So I'm gonna go down in a push-up position. Feet go out, feet go in, feet go out, feet go in. Keeping that body in line for the entire time. We're gonna do that two times through, 15 seconds a piece, quick transitions, a little quicker than last week. So the rest is almost eliminated and we're just going, going, going. All right, let's start with those burpees. And you don't have to do a push-up in between, just uh, hands go down, feet kick out, feet kick in, and you pop up. Here we go, two, one, we're going. Feet kick out, feet kick in, pop up. If you gotta put your feet up one at a time, that's fine as well. Short time in your two, one, relax. Lateral split feet here. Here we go, two, one, we're going. Back and forth, go, go, go. Getting that heart rate up quick here. Short time here, two, 
one, relax in that push position, two, one, we're going plank jacks, feet kick out, feet kick in, keeping that body in line. Short time here, two, one, relax, burpees once again, two, one, we're going. One more time through, 15 seconds. Here we go, come on, come on. Quick, quick, quick. Short time here. Two, one, relax. Two, one, we're going. Here we go. Quicker this time. Split those feet. Move laterally. Get some coordination here this morning. Make sure you're using your arms as well so you would be running. Two, one, relax. And those plank jacks, two, one, we're going. Big rest after this. Two, one, relax. Woo! And round one, we got two more. I need a fan, it's hot. Grab a sip of water, stand up, walk around. Let that heart rate come down. We're going here again in about 30 seconds. Let that heart rate come down. This will be the toughest week probably you guys have seen so far metabolically. So you guys are ready, you guys are prepared for this. But keep in mind this is meant to push you today. All righty. Once again, going back to that strength power, we'll start with a curl to press. So let's grab those weights. And we'll get going here. In three, two, one, we're working. Good base. Press over that head, add that pause. Make those shoulders stabilize. Here we go. Thirty-five seconds here. Don't need to go super quick. Focus on the movement. Short time here. Two, one, relax. Have keep those weights with you, alternating forward lunges. You want to hold it in front, you can. You want to hold it inside, that's great too. Here we go. Two, one, let's hit it. And try to add the weight, the weight if you can this week. If you can't, that's okay. Focus on that balance and just step up with a purpose. That's how you get better at these. Focus on that balance and driving hard, putting force through the ground. Here we go. Keep that chest big. Don't want to sl slouch. Here we go, short time. Two, one, relax. Go with those yoga push ups now. Head goes between your shoulders, hips go up, and then they go back down, and you're driving hard to that ground. Here we go. Two, one, we're working. Good, solid movements here. Don't need to go super fast yet. Nice job, keep working, 10 seconds. Two, one, relax. All right, metabolic, grab a sip of water, and get real quick. We'll get going here in about 10 seconds. Burpees to start with. Here we go, three, two, one. Let's hit it, 15 seconds worth here. Get those bodies going. If you gotta go one foot at a time, that's okay. Just keep on moving. Keep up, find a pace and keep it. Two, 
one, relax. Two, one, we're going split feet house. Back and forth, back and forth. Covering ground laterally. Two, one, relax. Plank jacks. Two, one, we're going. Come on, come on, nice job. Two, one, relax. Back up those burpees. Two, one, we're going. Come on, one more time through here, then we get a rest after this. Pick up that pace if you can. Don't hold back, this is the toughest week. You got to be ready for this. Feel good working hard. Cause that's what you guys would work for. Two, one, relax. Two, one, we're going. Yeah, so you guys worked hard to feel good working hard. <laughs> Two, one, relax, last one here. Two, one, we're going. Come on, come on. Short time. Three, two, one, relax. Woo. Grab a sip. Stand up, walk around. Let the heart rate come down. That was round two. We got one more. Focus on that breathing. So either Breathe in through your nose or out through your mouth. Personally, I like doing it the other way. In through your mouth, out through your nose. I can control more on the way out. No signs behind that, that's my personal preference. <laughs> All right, we'll get going here about 20 seconds. The final round. Starting with that curl to press once again. Money around, money set. When you guys are getting tired this round, refocus, driving through your elbows, punching through your hands. Make every movement you do have a purpose to it. All right, here we go. Grab those dumbbells. Let's hit it here in three, two, one. We're working. Last round here, 35 seconds. Move with a purpose this round. Don't just get by because you're tired. This is where the benefits are made and gained. Ten more seconds here. Come on. Three, two, one. Relax. Put those dumbbells down. Pick them back up. You need them for lunges. We're going here in ten seconds. Pop up harder this time. Maybe use a heavier weight this time. Well, let's get it done. Here we go. Two, one, we're working. Big step drive up. Have a change in speed as you push if you're able. That creates more force to the ground. That puts some good strain in your body. Careful on those knees. Make sure you're not banging them. Say so this should be hovering right above the ground. Short time. Three, two, one. Relax. And those yoga push ups. We got time. Here we go. Best push ups here. One at a time. Three, two, one. Four. Good. And go through your shoulders, punch into that ground hard. Here we go, push yourself, come on. What do you have here?
Short time. Three, two, one, relax. Here we go. Metabolic stuff right here. Burpees. Let's hit it in three, two, one. Let's push that pace this round. Let's push that pace. Whew. Here we go, come on, come on. Two, one, relax. Two, one, we're going split feet hops. Go, go, go. You guys are feeling great. You're not, you have this, you keep pushing. Three, two, one, relax. Three, two, one, here we go. Plank jacks, 15 seconds here. Three, two, one, relax, back in the burpees. Three, two, one, we're going last time through. Don't slow down. Don't slow down. Find a pace and grind. Find a good pace and grind. Two, one, relax. Two, one, we're going. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Use those arms. Get those feet moving. Quicker, quicker if you can. Two, one, relax. Two, one, we're going. Last time here. Last time. Two, one, relax. Whew. Stand and walk around. Let that heart come out. I'll give you a good breather here before we go into the ESD work. Whew. Stand up, walk around. Do not sit down. Control that breathing. A lot of, once again, I like breathing in first and then controlling it out. Majority of people breathe in first and then out through their mouth. I vice versa, I like the air right away. I want it and then I control it out. All right, in this final round this week, this final metal ball ground, nothing has changed from last week to this week. The times of the exercises are different, the times are still the same. I challenge you guys today, you push the intensity. You make this round harder. That's getting a, maybe an extra two reps in here. Saying, pick up that pace, really push it here. We're not going for any longer duration. We're doing 20 seconds of one exercise, followed by another one, followed by another one. The little rest in between, about 15, 20 seconds. We're gonna go boom, boom, boom. The three exercises we're doing, the first one we're doing is mountain climbers. So I'm gonna be, in a push-up position, I grab my knees to my chest. I'm going here, just straight the middle. After that, we'll do squat jacks, where my feet are gonna kick out, go down, feet kick in. Feet kick out, go down, feet kick in. You don't wanna hop in or out, just do a normal squat. Feet shoulder apart, reaching back, driving up. And then the last one, we're gonna kinda do lateral hand touches or or fast lateral, fast feet. I'm gonna be low. I'm gonna reach this foot out and this hand's gonna go down. And then I'm gonna reach out and this hand's gonna go down. Going back and forth. If you need to be a little higher and do it, that's fine too. But it'll be for a good duration, 20 seconds. We'll get a little rest after the three and we'll do it again three times. You push that intensity today. All right, I'll get my timer going. Start with mountain climbers. We're ready for this. Get in a good push-up position. Here we go. Three, two, one. We're, we're finishing up. Getting our ESD work in. Switching that tempo today. You're controlling the intensity. Come on. 
Come on, come on, short time. Three, two, one, pop up, squat jacks or squats. Two, one, we're going. 20 seconds here. Here we go, come on, come on. You push that intensity. You get those reps in, come on. Two, one, relax. Two, one, we're going. Same hand, same foot. Kicking out. Stay low, stay low. Big chest, big chest, eyes up. Don't be looking down here. Three, two, one, relax, stand up tall. Shake it out. Two more, two more. Control that breathing. Back those mountain climbers here. In three, two, one. We're going quicker this time. Come on. More reps, faster reps. Only two rounds left. Three, two, one. Relax. Three, two, one. We're going. Squats or squat jacks. You choose here. Push that tempo. Today's the day. We're getting better. Come on. Three, two, one. Relax. Two, one. We're going. Here we go. It's 20 seconds here. This is grueling. This is tough. Stay low. Eyes up. Big chest. Focus. That's that focus when you're tired. Oh, I'm going wrong here. Here we go. Two, one. Relax. One more. Come on. Last one. One minute. Last one. One minute. Mountain climbers, we've hit it. Three, two, one, we're going. Push it. Last minute today. What's in the tank? What can you give? Go. Three, two, one, relax. Two, one, we're going, come on. 40 seconds now. Do what you can do. If you need to transition to a squat here to focus on your technique, do so. That's where that discipline plays in to focus when you're tired. Two, one, relax. Two, one, we're going. Last 20 here. Last 20 here. Go. Come on. Try to touch the ground. Keep that chest up. Push it. It's burning. 10 seconds. Woo. Faster, faster. Four, three, two, one. Relax. Stand up, walk around. Get that air. Woo. Woo. Okay, go outside and get that fresh air. Hot in here. Stand up, walk around. Let that heart rate come down. All right. Unfortunately, we have, well, we have about three minutes. I don't think we're gonna get that extended time today. So let's get our little movements in. Good square stance, toes pointed out. Let's reach up as tall as we can. Let's reach out and touch your toes. Still focus on that breathing. Get a good stretch those hamstrings. All 
Let's sit into those hips. Big chest. Reaching back, push out on your knees, get a little bit deeper stretch in that groin. Need to hold on to something and stay this low, you can too. Usually if you have like a, a post of some sort in your house, that's great. Let's go back up, touching our toes, or touching the middle of the ground. Let's go back in that squat position. We only have about two minutes left. I just want to make sure I get my final remarks before we call it a day. Really nice job today, guys. This was meant to be one of the toughest classes of the metabolic conditioning so far. You guys probably felt fantastic doing it and felt great pushing yourselves, being comfortable. Let's sit back up. Uh, later this week on Friday, um, we're not going to have the metabolic conditioning class on Friday. It's going to be a 5K run. So if you want to hop in and join in on our Zoom call while you're running, Caitlin and I will be DJing it. It's going to be really fun. Same, find a route, find your, kind of mark out your route so you can go. So you know how far you have to go today. Sit back down if you haven't yet. And uh, have fun with it. But no, today was the last day of metabolic conditioning for the week. For the week. One more time, back up to the middle. If you have any other stretches you want to do, go for it right after. We're just not going to have time for it today. Definitely take the time to stretch out whatever you need to stretch out personally. One more time low, if you can. You gotta get out of here. Have a great rest of your day. Your Tuesday workout's done. <laughs> and relax when you're ready. Alrighty, I'll see you guys later. Have a great rest of your Tuesday. Thanks, Ryan.